up everyone welcome back to another disney pixar cars diecast video on the channel hope you guys are all enjoying your day welcome back and in today's video i will be taking a look at the disney pixar cars disney parks exclusive fillmore as yoda now this is a completely um unavailable diecast nowadays at least you can get them online for some decently priced um prices but um you can't find them at the disney parks anymore along with all the other ones that have been released but very very nice i am really happy to have acquired this guy as a gift to me from my dad uh pretty much an early birthday uh gift is what you could say it is so very very nice um I actually got this guy as of today, um, as of the time I'm filming this, yesterday at Colorado Diecast. They just recently restocked all their cars and they got so, so many new characters in that I haven't gotten yet. And I just, I am really hoping to get back there soon in order to acquire some of these newer, or older new characters that I haven't gotten yet. Um... If you guys have seen some of my past videos, you can see that this year for me has definitely been a Star Wars diecast year. I've found so many of these characters, um, at least in terms of my collection. Like in June, actually all from the summer until now I've been finding them. Uh, from June, I found the Boba Fett Chick Hicks diecast release. And then not long after, in July, I found the tractors as sand uh troopers so definitely a year for the star wars stuff for me i had no idea i'd be able to find all these guys but yeah anyways let's get straight into the review so fillmore as yoda very very nice really nice looking die cast you can see it's the same little kind of sticker on the little plastic piece very nice. It's got the little Republic logo, I believe, is what that is on the bottom there. Ages three and up, and the little Mickey ears. Very nice artwork display of Fillmore as Yoda in Dagobah. So that's very, very nice. I love that artwork. It looks so cool. It's got the Star Wars logo up in the top left corner, Cars logo, and just the overall really classic packaging look. Kind of has a red to a black star fade. Oh. On the back side, you guys can see some of the other characters released in the first wave of diecast. Those being Mater as Darth Vader, Lion McQueen as Luke Skywalker, Tractor as Stormtrooper, Sally as Princess Leia, Luigi and Guido as C-3PO, and R2-D2. So, very, very nice. And gives you a nice little 360 look at the diecast. Anyways... Let's get straight into the unboxing of Fillmore as Yoda. All right, everybody. So here we got Fillmore as Yoda right outside the package. Very, very nice die cast indeed. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Video's already gone by a lot. Let's get straight into it. So Fillmore as Yoda very nice die cast release a really good looking die cast in my opinion this gets right into it so of course this die cast is the normal fillmore model you know he's the volkswagen um die cast very nice this time he doesn't have i mean he has similar color scheme but he doesn't have any of the little stickers logos paint job or anything like that on the die cast and there are many different differences on the release Starting with the front here, you can still see the Volkswagen logo right up there. It's also got the two headlights. His eyes have a darker shade of green, which are um, kind of in like a squinting form. Since Yoda is at old age, that's kind of when they went for for the Fillmore diecast. You can see a little bit of the mouth there with the kind of unpainted spots with the little indents. On the bumper, you can see the front license plate, which isn't really a license license plate, but more of like uh, circles and two lines. A lot of these little um, 
dirt and wipe wiped uh, streak marks all across there. So very nice indeed. Really nice attention to detail. You can see older uh, black tires with light blue rims and a orangish trim. No, other way around, sorry. Very nice. It's got more of the little uh, dirt mark and stained um, wipings all across. He has brown paint job in a wavy form with a kind of tannish color right above that. Similar to what the Jedi robe looks like. So I'm, I can really tell if that's what they were trying to go for for this. Very, very nice. Same on the opposite side here as well. These are even some stains all across the windows. So that's pretty cool. Nice little details, even across the window bars and whatnot. On the very back here, you got more of the stains and a continuation of the robe colors. He even has his little license plate there with the little Star Wars language, or I guess, yeah, like, however, the way that they write their letters and how they all look is basically what they wrote down for his little license plate there. So that's very nice. Look on the base here, 2013 Disney Pixar made in China with his little uh, date code right there. Very, very cool. On the roof of the die cast is the same darker shade of green as his eyes, maybe a little lighter and it's just in like a nice kind of retro-ish kind of grid form where they're spreading out from in and outwards with even more of the little stains. Other really cool details, he's got the little Yoda ears on the side. They are a little plastic, I mean rubberish pieces, so they are kind of bendable. Very nice with more little stains. Very, very cool. But yeah, anyways, that'll do it for today's video on the Fillmore as Yoda. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!